Flex Radio had a new an announcement that you guys should know about already. The Aurora. We're going to talk to Michael today at Hamvention 25. Thanks, man. And he's in a hurry. He's got to go do a presentation on this, so we got to make it quick. But we read you in a couple of days ago, right? You were, right. I, can I say you were blown away? I was blown away. Okay. That's very true. All yeah. right. Okay. So what is Aurora? So technology rolls on, and uh, I guess let's say what, what Sideband did for AM, Aurora yes. is going to do for transmitters. There's been no okay. real transmitter. You know, we've had linear amplifiers and transmitters right. have been hot, they've been heavy, and we've taken a technology that isn't new mm -hmm. and brought it forward into production. Uh, you can Google polar modulation, you can go to Tony uh, K Kilo One Kilo Papa's website, follow his link for more details, QEX articles, anyway, let's get beyond that. Key parts, in a single box, carry-on luggage size, 16, 17 pound, plug in the wall, AC power box, you get 500 watts. 500 watt. 500 watts, radio. key down. We did it for eight hours straight yesterday. You're doing it right and now. We just started. Did you come by later today and see how hot that gets? Right. It takes oh, a while did it to just, get it. It takes yeah, a while we'll to get go, hot. We'll go over there and look. That's fine. So, if, you know, you, you've got a couple of properties, right? So you, yes. So you know what it's like. You'd like to have the amp. Are you going to buy two amps or two radios? Well, now you can take 500 watts with you. Yeah. Or look, so you don't have to carry a radio and an amp and a tuner. Mm -hmm. um, it starts at 61.99. I think okay. that's roughly the price, plus or minus 100 dollars. Uh, it's early. And, uh, yeah, it is early. And I, I, I get this wow factor, but wait a minute. If you go out and buy, you know, a Flex 8400 mm -hmm. and a KPA 500, mm -hmm. not to pick on Elecraft because these are great products, a mm -hmm. Cat 500, mm -hmm. you're saving money, and it's all in one box. Less mm -hmm. cables, less common mode noise. You know, Poda. You can take this to Poda. Much you lighter can, weight. Also. Yeah, you know, you mm -hmm. can get a, a spot. Maybe be there for a while with power. You can just plug it in. Yeah. Uh, you could plug it into a small kilowatt generator, mm -hmm. uses mm -hmm. less fuel. Mm -hmm. The Expeditions are gonna like it, probably use less fuel as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. Less weight in the Expeditions pay by the pound. Yes. Uh, that, that's not for most of us, but just to get you an idea. Yep. And it's it's like tank proof. We, uh, I'm amazed, you know, and not amazed that it was able <laughs> to run for eight hours without some sort of failure. We're in the first 10, right? right. And this is normal right. product right. life cycle, right? right. Yeah. Build 10, you try to blow them up, you build another 100. Yeah. And uh, wow, yeah. and these have actually been in use by our alpha members for a number, for about a month already. Okay. We've had them in contesting. Uh, Tony's used it, uh, K1, uh, Kilo 1, Kilo Papa, mm -hmm. for a contest for over a year now. Nice. Okay. So yeah, is it uh, is it everything? Does it run in 12 volts? No, that's not the no. market it's for. Right. Uh, and if you're worried about, I don't know, generator or outages from power and whatever, I can plug it into a battery. Okay, I'm gonna get blunt. How many of you guys have actually done that? But most of us now, at least in the ham world, I know, all have some sort of generator. Yes. To produce AC, plug it in, away you go. Kyle, uh, you're not Kyle, you're Jason. I'm anything Jason. We have He's a presentation Kyle. with fine. Kyle coming up. <laughs> um, anything else you wanna know? What did I miss? Let's take a look at Let's it. Let's have a look. Yeah. Here's the radio, it's our same form factor. Mm -hmm. it's, it's light, it's 17 pounds. I'll just tilt it up. Mm -hmm. We have brick on key. You can see the LP100. It's sitting here at 906, 496 watts. Man, it's early. And uh, we're now starting to get warm. Is it? Okay. It's uh, 130, 130 Fahrenheit. Degrees. Yeah. The radio is cold as a cucumber. And so what's, did I talk about what the big difference between 500 and 1500 watts is? No, not yet. Not a lot. It's a big number. Yeah. But operationally, it's about an S unit. Mm -hmm. uh, and. Don't give me the, wow, you know, it's gonna break a pileup. It won't, okay, you might feel that way. Um, you know, it, it may inter and it may not, you know, because I've broken pileups with 100 watts before and it depends on what the other pileup operators are using, it right? It depends so, on the yeah. propagation Absolutely. your biggest Absolutely, that's your favorite. biggest thing. I do in contests yeah. a little digressions. Yeah. I watch when the signals get strong. I don't, you know, I'm not always yelling in a de-expedition. Right. But if it's, get, if it's dying, I'm gonna lose, so I'll just wait. Jason, let's walk around the corner. Sure, yeah. the cover off. All right. Because everybody wants to see, you'll see the back. I'll see the back, yeah. It looks fairly normal uh, to a flex radio operator, except we have AC power connector here. Our normal three push to talk leads. Mm -hmm. Can I hook up an amplifier? You could. I highly don't recommend it, because if you get it wrong, you're not only going to probably take out the um, amplifier you've got, you might take right. out the radio. Yeah. Okay, it's just not worth it for yeah. the extra, you know, 4 dB. And let's look inside. I think if you shoot this way, you'll be okay. Yeah. So this stack is the tuner, the bandpass filters. 
of the tank circuits, uh, which is why we can't use it on Mars because it's tuned for each pants. Gotcha. And then the uh, power amplifiers here in the bottom. Uh, and then over here on top is the, the AC power supply. There's two 48 volt power supplies here to give you 96 volts. And then um, underneath is the, um, what do you call that? The computer part. Oh, <laughs> motherboard? Motherboard to keep everything running. The Aurora okay. display on the front, uh -huh. like you probably saw over there, it, yeah, it, it waffles lights, colors. Lights and, up, lights, cool. watch colors. Yeah, that's cool. That's yeah, good. so that's so, it. Cool. That's my elevator pitch. So here's here's a question I thought of while you were talking. Back in the day, you used to build, we used to build our own transmitters, and they were, what, 10, 15, 20 watts, something like that. When was the first radio that was a true 100 watts without an amplifier built? Uh, I don't know the answer. I don't I'm know the you. answer either, but I'm sure you're. <laughs> but I bet, I bet, whenever that happened, people were like, "No, that's not going to work. A hundred watts, no, that's going to get hot. It's going to do this. It's going to do." So this is the next step in an evolution of something that came about several decades ago when the first 100 watt transmitter was right. was built. Right. So this yeah, is. Yeah. Well, we went from tubes. I'm trying to think now. Right. We went from tubes to solid state. Right. Uh, or then we went. Actually, we went. Remember, there was a hybrid step. So we went from tubes. To transistors, but the finals, like the, right. the Yaesu FT101ZD, had 6146 finals in it, mm -hmm. tubes, mm -hmm. and then we finally made the switch to semiconductors. You know, it's product life cycle yeah. all the way yeah. from the beginning. Absolutely, you know? and, yeah. Uh, Next natural progression and step, yeah. which, which you guys have done. So you old fart grumpy guys, get over it. Just, <laughs> you know, life goes on. That's right. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ham radio for a new generation. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Jason. Appreciate Always it. fun. Yep.